Hello and welcome back. Um, this is Dynamics Problem um, from book F14-5. I think it's Hitler 13th edition. I believe so. Um, well, we'll go ahead and pull it up. So, the problem states when S equals 0 0.6 meters, the spring is unstretched, and the 10 kilogram block has a speed of 5 meters per second down the smooth plane. We can understand that since it's a smooth plane, there will be no friction. Determine the distance s, the distance s when the block stops. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a free body diagram. We've rotated our axes to match the angle of the block as it's coming down the slide. We've got a spring force, the applied force of 100 newtons. By geometry, we know that the angle between the applied force and the weight force, which comes straight down, is 60 degrees. And the angle between the, um, the weight force and the normal force, the normal force being perpendicular to the block, is 30 degrees. So, um, within this problem, we're going to have xf, which is the distance from 0 0.6 meters where the block stops meaning we're going to basically move our origin to 0 0.6 meters and we're going to integrate that down from the bottom at the very end of the problem we will add our answer to 0 0.6 meters to get the right answer for this problem since it's a work in energy problem we're going to recall the equation the sum of the forces the sum of the work from state one to two equals one half mv final squared minus one half mv initial squared. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do is figure out what all the forces are and what is actually working on here. So we have the applied force, the force of the spring, the force of the weight or mg, and then the force, the work of the normal force. Um, we can kind of sit here and look at our free body diagram and understand that the work of the normal force is going to be zero because it's perpendicular to the velocity. So we can immediately cancel that out so we don't have to do any work for it. Now we're going to take all of our um, numbers and or our variables and kind of apply them in. So our force, which is um, xf, we're going to, the force, excuse me, the force when we plug in xf is in there plus the integral of the mg cosine of theta plus the integral kx, which is the spring, um, cosine of 180. We have cosine of 180 because the force and the velocity are going down in one direction, which is straight down, which is just one, um, hence why there's no cosine on f, x of f, um, or x final. And since, if you can think, what is cosine of 180 degrees, but negative one. So when we go to our next step in the problem, rather than just having plus the spring, we'll have minus, because that whole thing will work out to be minus. All of this is equal to one half mv initial squared. Um, the reason why it's one half mv initial squared is if we look at our problem, we're looking to when the block stops or when velocity final equals zero. So the first half of our um, work equation can be crossed off because it will equal zero, but we keep the negative sign on there since it would technically be zero minus the, the other half of the equation. So if we continue from there, we'll have um, final plus m to cosine of 60, or you could say sine of 30 xf minus k over 2 x squared evaluated at xf or x final to 0 equals 1 half mv initial squared. Now we're going to plug numbers in um, so we can simplify the equation and then solve for x final. We move on, get our little space cleared up. Still having a bunch of our previous information up here, we will um, plug our numbers in now and simplify. So. Um, and now we, how do I explain this? We've multiplied through by a negative and then, so we can move our 100 x final squared to the front, have that be positive. We have added our 125 over since, um, how do I, okay. 
I might have gone a little fast here, so I'm going to explain a little bit more. So on this side, we just kind of rearranged it a little bit by multiplying a negative through. So now this has become negative, this has become negative, and this is now positive. On this side, it would be negative 1 half times 10, which would be 25. Or negative 1 half times 10 is 5. Now we have 5 times 25. The 25 came from velocity, which we know is 5 meters per second. We plug it in for a velocity initial, which would be 5 squared, which is 25, times another 5, which is 125. That would be negative. We would add it over. And then since we've multiplied through by negative, it's negative again. So it would be add negative. You don't have to do it this way if you don't want to. That's just the way that I did it. You wouldn't have to multiply through by the negative. We set the entire equation equal to zero. We simplify by adding the, or subtracting from each other, the negative 100 and the negative 49 of 5. They combine to make negative 149.05. We'll use the quadratic equation and you'll get x final will equal 2.089 and x final will also equal negative 0.0594. We dismiss the negative one because it's negative. You're not going to have a negative distance. And so finally, we take our final answer. We add it to the original 0 0.6, and we get the final answer of s equals 2.689 meters. And that is the end of the problem. If I went a little too fast, I apologize. Um, if you want more simplified answers, let me know. Or if you want the problems kind of walked through, few of the steps in here were kind of skipped ahead because they're just simplification. If you want a bit more in the, the problems, let me know, but that, that would end this problem.